Today's video, I'm going to cover a fundamental error that a lot of people do with their left hook to the body. And I got Keontae Irving here to demonstrate, 2018 National Golden Glove champion, middleweight champion, and also 7-0 with seven knockouts as a professional. So what we're going to talk about is one of the uh, mistakes that people make when they throw a left hook to the body. Uh, they bend their back and they take their head to their knee and they, and they take their head past their knee as well. So they're really getting a back bend here, okay? And even though they sometimes they could be twisting their shoulders, like I've seen people demonstrate this saying that Mike Tyson does that, but you don't do that, okay? You twist that shot. That shot is a rotation, where that's it, where his head is going to his right hip. Mike Tyson's in here when he's throwing a left hook to the body. He's not here bending low and getting his head past his knee. He's not taking his head to his knee. He's not getting his head over his knee. Even if, even if he doesn't get his head to his knee, he's still not bending low like this. He's taking his head over that way, okay? He's not, that's what he's doing. He's not doing, now Keontae has a totally different build and structure, but the, the mechanics are the same. Okay, his body might not look like, he, like it is, but it is the same twist, okay? So you, if you got that shot, what, you, what you're not doing is this. He's not doing that, okay? Even if he didn't do it as prevalent, if you just do it, just, you didn't do it as much, he's still not doing that, okay? Even get lower, if you got lower, he's not doing that, okay? What you do when you bend, start bending that knees as well, you tighten your hip flexors, then you cannot get the twist when you bend too low, you can't get, it'd be like trying to throw a football down here like this, okay? You have to be able to have a comfortable knee bend, but you're, you, what you're doing is you're doing a hip hinge, and then you're able to rotate your hips. You, all you have is a hip hinge. You do not bend the knees and go forward, and that's it. Now you're cramping your hips, now you're not, that's a shot, and I'll try to throw the left hook to the body like that. You can do it, but it's not as efficient one, it's not as efficient, and you're not going to get the same torque like that. Do it again. As you are if you're doing this. Two of them. And he's right back to being where he wants to be. So he's here. He can right back with a, he can go right back with a jab. So he can go two hooks to the body, back with a jab. Two hooks to the body, back with a jab. Two hooks to the body, that's it. Now if he goes down there lower like that, and he tries to do it, he's gonna have to make a lot more of a transition to throw a jab or do whatever. He could throw, he could throw a left hook to the body where his head, his head is, he is turning his, he is turning his hips, okay, counterclockwise, that's what he's doing. It's a hip turn, everything is a hip turn. When you throw a jab, it's a hip turn. When you throw a right hand, it's a hip turn. When you throw a left hook to the head, it's a hip turn. When you throw a left hook to the body, it's a hip turn, okay? When you, when you go forward like that, you don't get as much hip turn either. This hip should be pulling back more. The more you go forward, the less you pull back, okay? The pull is the power, okay? So you're pulling, that's it, that's it. All he's going to do is he's not going to straighten out his hips. That could be a mistake. So in other words, you got to, yeah, you can't have the back straight. So when he, when he does that, when he does that twist like that, he doesn't want to straighten his butt, have his, he's got to have that hip hinge. It's just like any kind of, any kind of thing you do in a weight room, like a squat or deadlift, you have, you would know about hip hinge when people talk about hip hinge. You got to have, and everything you do, when you play golf, when you bat, when you throw a football, when you're, when you're in a batting stance, when you're in a golf stance, you, you have a hip hinge, okay? Butt is pushed back. So as long as his butt is pushed back out and he just rotates on those hips counterclockwise, he's got good leverage to throw that shot, okay? And he doesn't have, if he leans forward where he thinks he's going to get more extension, he's not going to get more extension, okay? He's going to get more extension when he's there. He's able to extend the hand and he's still able, that's it. He can go right around that arm. That's it. There you go. See, that left shoulder's pulling back. 
sit. So he could go right back to with a shoulder roll. He could do that, or he could even shoulder roll with right. He's always able to get his weight right back and throw a right hand hook. So he's there. Boom, boom, like that. Hook to the body. So he can even he can even get himself all the way back to the right side very quick when he does that. When he does that hip twist like that, he's right there to throw a right uppercut. A right uppercut and a right hand are the same thing. And that, that one eye, when he's throwing that one eye on the punch, he doesn't have to drop his hand to throw the punch as well. He's just going to be able to, one eye is going to turn his joint right into the shot. Okay? See it, it's coming right, it's coming right from there. It's not dropping down and then the uppercut comes. He's, he's not doing that. He's not dropping and throwing. Too much time, telegraph, and nowhere near as much power like that because it's becoming more arm, okay? When he's there, he's able to turn it. The more time when he's throwing that punch, the longer time that he keeps that punch connected to his body before impact, that means he's going to have more power on him. Okay? If he takes his arm, the more he takes his arm away from the, the, his body, okay, it's going to become more of an arm punch. So the more he can keep that tight and connected and turn that shot, that's it. So he's right there. Okay? Right off of that. And you can get it from the other angle on the right uppercut. He's just turning one eye. One eye is the key. That's it. And it's staying right. Elbows is in right there. There's no drop of the hand. Same thing with the left hook to the body. If he wants to extend it out to get more distance, he's going to get it more out. He's not going to drop it down to throw it out. In other words, you don't have to drop it down to get extension out forward. Your, your twist is going to take you there, and the elbow's in, and the, the elbow can go forward without having to be dropped to go forward, okay? So when he's there, and when he throws again, he's going one eye. A lot of times I like to say, show me your ear, see? That's it, show me your ear. That's it. What that does, if he does it tight, you keep it tight, he's... Connect, he wants to keep that as connected as he can. So you're there. That's, that's it. And he goes this way. That's it. And both twists. That's it. Even the shoulder back. So you're going to left hook to the body, two of them. Right up. That's it. Two left hooks to the body. Whew. Now one to the body, left uppercut. That's it, right up, okay. Whoo! Keep it tight. Body hit. Again, just to show one more time, the, the wrong way when you're throwing a left hook to the body is lean into that leg. That's it, okay? Put too much weight on the front leg, getting hit. If you go even lower, you're tightening your hip flexors up, okay? Can't get as much torque. So he just wants to have that nice hip hinge. And he's still tr developing, like I said, nothing is perfect. We strive for it, but he's, he's got to get better with it actually too. He's always, always talking about, we're always talking about him giving me a little bit more of a hip hinge. So he does have strong, has his butt down, he's sitting down strong. Now he rotates on it and he's strong there and he turns. That's it. That's it. Two to the body. And as you see that rotation, he is rotating his hips, okay? Those hips are going, like I said, counterclockwise. And what happens when he goes counterclockwise, his head is going on the outside, is going right to this left hip as he pulls that left shoulder back. It's going right to this left hip. His head's not staying where the knee's at and he's going low, go low. He's not doing that, okay? Even if he's doing that, he can still twist it. He can still twist it. Twist it hard. And he got power on it. Go ahead. Two, two of them. But it's not as efficient as this. Okay? And he's not going to be able to make the transition to get back on defense if he's got his head more that way. Okay? So when he's, he could go that way. Or he can go this way. That's it. Roll right back. Roll. Right hand hook, see? So hook to the body, left hook to the body. Hard hook to the body. Sit right hand. 
That's it. So that's just a great tip for you guys to take into the gym and practice. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Tommy and Kella Boxing. And for a lot of great videos, check out my world-class boxing channel on YouTube. And I'll see you guys next time.